One of the biggest things I've learned in high school is the value and importance of friendship. Throughout my high school years, I have made friends and lost friends. My friends who remain are very important to me. I love them all for sticking with me through thick and thin. I will never forget our crazy antics and memories. My friends from band and ASL are my extended family. The person who taught me the most about friendship was Mari. She showed me how far she was willing to go for and support me by sending me a letter while I was at boot camp. Because of this, she became like a sister to me while I was at high school. I'll always be there for her and any of my friends. One of my life passions is my involvement in my sea cadet unit, my Galay Monsoor Town. Joining this unit in junior year was the best decision I've ever made, and I only wish I had joined it sooner. I've learned so much about myself and how you can do anything if you set your mind to it. Due to all of my dedication and hard work, I have become a right rifleman for our color guard team, a member of the knot tying team, squad leader, staff cadet, and supply petty officer for our unit. I love this program and everyone who I have met in it. They have helped shape me into the person I am today and the naval officer I hope to become. My shipmates are my second family and I will miss them dearly. Ever since I saw the Free Willy trilogy in first grade, I have been obsessed with killer whales. When I was little, I would go to SeaWorld and watch the whales at Shamu Close Up, and once I expressed enough interest, my mom took me to the San Juan Islands where I saw killer whale pods in the wild. I love killer whales because of their intelligence, family bonds, and their role in ocean environments. I've even painted a mural in my room with one and wear my necklace for ruffles every day. I plan to study and research the residential killer whale pods in the San Juan Islands as a career after college. Survivor is my favorite book that I've read in the past year. This book also makes its way to my all-time favorite top 10 books due to the content and Marcus Luttrell's conversational writing style. This is the story of Petty Officer Marcus Luttrell as he recounts the desperate battle from Murphy's Ridge that led, ultimately, to the largest loss of life in U.S. Navy SEAL history. But it is also, more than anything, the story of the men who fought ferociously beside him until he was the last one left. I agree with Marcus that if he did not write it, no one would understand and appreciate his teammates' courage and sacrifices, and that would be a tragedy. I highly recommend this book, but have a tissue box close by. This September, I will be attending Oregon State University as a chemical engineering major with double minors in oceanography and naval science. I've been accepted into the Navy ROTC college program and plan to become an oceanography officer for the United States Navy. I have had many great achievements in the past, such as getting my black belt in Taekwondo in the 6th grade, graduating Sea Cadet Boot Camp as a nominee for Honor Cadet, winning first place for Color Guard at Flagship 2014, but my greatest achievement to date was the completion of my first handwritten book, Crescent Wolf. I've been writing since 7th grade and completed my first story, Crescent Wolf, last year. Creating these stories allows me to show off my talent and improve my creative writing style and maybe someday my work will be published. There are so many souls who don't follow their dreams Ignoring their passions makes no sense to me I could lie or waste time to follow the seasons but I think I'd regret it when I fall asleep I don't have superpowers, there's no magic spell But I remain faithful for things to go well I'm not looking for miracles, at least for today I know I've got what it takes It's hard when you 